Hi, thanks for joining us today. Um, before we start, can you just tell us a little bit about what you do and what your role is at Gonfling Keys College? Yeah, sure. Hi, Judith. So I'm Eve. I'm the Conference and Events Manager at Gonfling Keys College, and uh, we take care of a whole manner of different events from uh, conferences and private dining to our own college events, feasts and uh, fellows private dining. Of course, at the moment, um, all of that's on hold at the venue in lockdown, but how are you yourself coping in lockdown at the moment? I'm coping really well, actually. Um, working from home is, uh, is still a novelty and I'm enjoying the extra time each day that I'm getting not having to commute. And uh, yeah, it's, it's nice that um, we've been so well blessed with the weather. It's great to have a garden. I'm sure plenty of people are not as lucky. So I'm grateful every day that I've got some outdoor space that I can sit in and enjoy the sunshine. It's so important, isn't it, just to have those little breaks um, and to get out and get some fresh air. Have you got mm. any other mechanisms that you've been using to, to cope with lockdown that you would like to share with us? Uh, nothing new, I'm afraid, nothing innovative, just a routine. And I've found that getting up at my normal time, um, I've resurrected my yoga practice, which is really just such a jewelry so I'm doing that every morning um, and just getting dressed for work in my normal work clothes so I've got that mindset and then I think the benefit of that is at the end of the day I just change out of my clothes work's finished and it's all about home and play. Sounds like you've got some good routines and some good mechanisms for coping there tell us a little bit about the office what's uh, where are you? So I'm in our spare room uh, which I completely claimed as my own. I did some rearranging of furniture. Uh, my partner built a new tabletop, so I've got a big desk now, and I feel really well set up. There are a few small items that I forgot to bring home from the office, and every other day I'll reach for something and then remember that I haven't got it, but ah, those are small things I can do that. It sounds like you've um, really coped with the adapting, um, but there must be so many things that you miss about college life, uh, what do you miss most about your venue? I miss the people the most above everything. I, I'm really missing that day-to-day -day contact and just hearing about what other people are doing and um, and you get such energy from your colleagues and, and from interacting that I've resolved never to take people for granted ever again. So I think we're all actually going to be quite changed after this experience and hopefully um, we're cherishing those moments a lot more than we, we did in the past. Um, just wondering if you've um, resorted to learning anything extra while you've uh, been in lockdown. I know that um, work is still very much ongoing and you're very busy, but have you learned any languages, any new skills, anything you'd like to share with us? Well, yeah, so uh, I, I'm a big fan of Duolingo, so I keeping up with my Italian, which I do every day. Um, not really very much more than I normally do, um, because I'm also doing um, a Chartered Institute of Marketing course in Digital wow. Marketing. So that's keeping my brain really switched on. That's been uh, quite a stretch so far, but I'm loving it. And it's really great to have something extra to focus on because um, I'm still, you know, working full time. But there are moments now in the day where Nobody's interrupting me, um, so I have got time to devote to that training. So that, again, I'm really grateful for that opportunity. Sounds like a really good opportunity to just refresh some, uh, some skills there and, and hopefully come back to the office when the doors are open again and uh, feel very refreshed and very inspired. Um, obviously, venues have suffered deeply um, in the, um, the outbreak of the pandemic. Um, but organisers have too, and I just wondered, have you got any words or any thoughts that you'd like to share with organisers at the moment? I think I just really want people to stay positive and not forget that whilst virtual meetings like this are keeping us all going at the minute, nothing beats the energy that you get from meeting people face to face, sitting in the same room, even if you're two metres apart, you still gain energy and creativity from being in, in, in a group situation. 
So I, I just hope we don't lose sight of that and that once life returns to whatever our new normal is, that we don't shy away from coming together and, and having those shared experiences. Absolutely, and I think that's really important, isn't it? It's, it's not so much about, always about the content of the meeting or the format of the meeting, it's that experience and the, um, the things that people take away from the meeting um, and having the opportunity to network with one another is so important. Um, it's really interesting, I think, to see how this pans out when, when things start to get back to some kind of normal, as you say. But when those doors do open, what will be the first thing you do when you get back to work? Oh, I'm really looking forward to just walking around everywhere. The two, the, oh, we've got two sites at Gondola Keys, so I'm going to go around every single room, open the windows, let all that fresh air and sunlight in. And then we're going to apply that same a metaphorical attitude of refreshing to our products so we'll be doing a lot of work on um, new menus, package enhancements just to give our customers that fresh start that I think we're all really looking forward to. Fresh start sounds excellent, really exciting. So yeah. a bit in our interview Eve where I, I would like you to tell me three great things about your venue so over to you. Wow, thank you very much. So, the three great things about Gondolin Keys College, our people, first and foremost. Uh, we have such a team, a great team of really dedicated people who are just all about service and taking care of people. Uh, second great thing is our food. Uh, we do some amazing, delicious and healthy uh, cooking at Keys. So, it will be lovely to be able to share that with people again and our location we have got a fantastic city centre location and our site our second site which is at west road on the backs of the colleges which is our our sort of open green space so we can we can offer the both best of both worlds we've got city centre the, the buzz and hustle and bustle of the city centre and then the quiet reflective landscape gardens of west road Oh, that sounds amazing. Can't wait to get back. Um, I know. Thanks, Eve, for letting us drop in on you today, um, just to see what life in lockdown's like for you. Um, fingers crossed, we'll be back to work soon and uh, we'll all be back in Cambridge and celebrating. Lovely to see you today. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Judith. Thank you. Bye. Bye.